I definitely want feedback. If that's not doable, we'll have to leave it out. Stop. Yeah, there's a stop there. Yeah. Can I, uh, I got, I'm gonna run out to my car okay. and grab my phone. Yeah, do it. It's it's so Studios um, with my buddy Brian Wheeler, who I actually I met Brian um, on the internet before I moved down from Alaska. Um, I was I was networking on Craigslist and just like trying to meet as many musicians and uh, recording engineers and just anybody involved in the music scene down here to try to figure out um, who I would hang out with when I came down. Um, and Brian and I got to talking. He's you know runs this really nice uh, really nice studio down in his on his house and. Um, so I came over when I when I first moved into, into town and checked it out. And then like what six months went by, and I finally like came back. and I was like, hey, I got a band and we did some recordings. Can you mix this stuff for me? You know, and that was that was pretty much it. We just like stayed in contact via email. But I you know got him to do a recording with me last January, January 2013. And then um, this has come around since then. I you know uh, did a tour of Wisconsin last year and then. Um, I kind of laid low through the winter and now I've uh, put, put together a bigger band and finally it was like ready to pull the trigger on an album and I was feeling like my aesthetic was finished and so I called up Brian and I was like, hey Brian, let's do an album. Today I've got Bruce Wasserstrom on guitar, I've got Dave Shyla on bass, and Terry Galloway on the drums. When I was coming up in Alaska, I was playing um, pickup blues in bar bands. So I'd like play with a different band every week, and I uh, cut my teeth on blues standards, and that's um, where I learned how to be a guitarist and a band leader. Um, one of the things with that sound is that it's pretty loud and blasty and, and rocking. So um, I didn't really. It was an intuition more than than. Um, like a distinct knowledge of needing to move in a quieter direction, but um, I realized after playing all these bars in Wisconsin after moving down here, I was like, this is not um, yielding the type of relationship with an audience that I want. Um, I, I want uh, my lyrics and the, the feel of the songs to take prominence over um, instrumental mastery. Currently the plan is for the album to be released in the fall. Um, what we're going to do when we're done recording it is we're going to shop it around to a few record labels, mostly local local groups that might be able to give it uh, a little extra promotional push. And that's that's because we want to uh, have a nice album release cycle to ride into the summer. Of course, like the goal here is to make the best album possible and you know, if we make an album that's as good as I think we can do, I figure we'll probably play some festivals and stuff next year. I can be able to really, um, really take this sound on the road and start sharing it with people. I bicycle around my town I know it better than a 
melody 